Hey IYers, what's up? This is Dylan. It's a beautiful morning in northeastern Wisconsin. Uh, today I wanted to make this video just kind of help with people that just finished the tutorial or kind of confused on what exactly they have to do. So I'm going to be walking through a simple cube, just kind of showing you how everything's done and trying to explain some things. Now pretty much from what I've come across, there's two major types of cubes you'll get. Either they're going to be a massive branch or something like this that are already done. And your number one objective basically is going to be going through and just finding little mistakes. Um, normally you won't have to add on whole branches. You just kind of go through and find incomplete circles. Where other ones, it's a lot different. The AI is only going to give you a little tiny piece in the corner here and you're going to end up having to grow it all yourself. So basically I'm going through and looking for incomplete circles. Um, the incomplete circles are probably the number one mistake that the AI makes. Um, they're a little bit more malicious than you'd think that they are, would be. Um, they do things like, if there's a branch growing out, if the circle is complete on the next slice, there'll be less of a circle complete, it'll completely cut off the branch, and that's no good. So as you can see there, um, yeah, it's really simple, basically, there's a circle, it wasn't completely filled, click it, and it adds on to the 3D model as you get. I love the software of this program. It's really cool, especially for being browser based. Yeah, if you haven't yet or already, um, you should definitely head over to iWire's Facebook page. You get a bunch of updates and whatnot. I don't know, connect with them, like it. All the cool kids are doing it. Now, I think the reason why this game is so addicting, and I've heard a lot of people complain that it is, is probably because, well, obviously it's like any other game that's going to be addicting in that factor, but just from amusement, but a lot of the times when you play other games, you kind of feel like you're wasting time, where here you're contributing to science. You are science, and it's pretty fun. Thankfully, it's rendering a lot faster than it was yesterday, um, the development team and Everyone at MIT is really sweet, despite their servers crashing. They're able to pick it up pretty smoothly and quickly, so thank you to them. Alright, now I'll just run back through and look for little mistakes I made. Now when you're adding on, it's going to be, sometimes it's going to be fairly evident you made a mistake, sometimes it won't be so obvious. Like, if I click over here, for instance, what most likely happens, yeah, it'll grow a completely new branch, and it's pretty obvious. Otherwise, if I click somewhere, like, well that's a bad example. If I click right there, well, sometimes you'll click and they'll be about maybe a fifth of that size, and you'll just barely see them jutting out, and they don't really look like they should be there, but at the same time, it's not completely obvious if they're mistakes. Like this as an example. It's not starting a whole new column, but 
it juts out in a fashion that it looks like it really shouldn't be there. Alrighty, this one looks just about finished. I'm assuming the reason that there's a big hole there is because there's another neuron running through it and this one simply wrapped around it. Um, I can actually check that. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, as I said, there appears to be a neuron running through it. So, I'm highlight all of that. And except for the fact that there's a giant gap at the end. <laughs> Alright, that's all. I hope you liked the little walkthrough. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask. Otherwise, I might make another video down the line. If you want to make your own video, do it. <laughs> That's better than mine. That's a good thing. Um, so keep eye wiring, contributing to science, and have a great day. Thanks.